Muncher. Hey guys, welcome to Muncher Movies. We're completely engulfed in Game of Thrones fever over here, so don't forget to hit subscribe so you can keep up with all the madness. In this video, we're going to be talking about who we think is going to kill Cersei Lannister. Now, keep in mind, we're not asking the question whether Cersei is going to die, but the way her character has been set up, it feels like it's on its way to a gruesome end. If the creators of the show are able to do a 180 here and make her the ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, then suffice to say, we're going to be pretty bummed out. Now, on to the topic. The question of who will kill Cersei has long been up for debate, even before the season started. Maggie's prophecy from the books, which were partly recreated in the show, ended with the words, the Valencar shall wrap his hands around your pale white throat and choke the life from you. Valencar in High Valerian means little brother, which obviously ignited some theories. The prophecy, all the hints we keep getting in the show, and the undeniable adage, you know, the one about bad karma catching up to you, just sets up an inevitable Cersei death in this final season. Given where we left Cersei at the end of last season, a big contender for this title seemed to be Jaime. He had finally lost faith in his sister and left King's Landing to join the forces in the north to fight the dead. Given what we heard in Maggie's prophecy about a Valencar ending Cersei's life, it was a battle between Jaime or Tyrion. But from what we've seen this season, that might not be the case. He made clear that he wanted to be of help in the fight against the dead and also iterated that he would do everything he has done over and over again. In this previous episode, The Last of the Starks, he helps Brienne understand that he's still the same person, and both him and Cersei are hurtful people before abruptly leaving for King's Landing. He has fulfilled his oath to fight for the living, but still owes an oath to Cersei, to be on her side against the world. So it might not make as much sense that Jaime is the one that kills Cersei. So let's move on to contender number two. Arya Stark. We all remember Melisandre recounting what she told Arya earlier in Season 3 about her killing people with brown eyes, blue eyes and green eyes. That's a check on brown and blue, and the only one that remains is green eyes. Given that Cersei is the only major character who has green eyes, and that she's on top of Arya's infamous list, it's highly probable that Cersei will meet her end at Arya's hands. We also see Arya near the end of the previous episode, on the road with Sander Clegane, with both alluding to unfinished business, which could mean a Clegane Bowl for Sander and a possible face change assassination for Arya. Even though Arya seems like the likely candidate, another candidate who has strong claims to this title is Tyrion. The prophecy about a little brother choking Cersei now applies more to Tyrion, and given his hate for Cersei, who he thinks is off the deep end, it all seems pretty plausible. Let's be clear, Tyrion has tried in the past to reach out and evoke the human side of his sister, but obviously has been shunned each time. And given this last confrontation at the end of Last of the Starks, we might be convinced that Tyrion may have a hand in killing Cersei, even if it means Arya putting on a Tyrion face mask and choking her, which brings all the possible conclusions to a well-rounded ending. So, what do you guys think? Is it too much wishful thinking for the last situation to pan out? Or do you think there is an alternate ending to the Cersei character arc? Let us know in the comments below and what you'd like us to break down next. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, till next time.